Ellen McCauley at Pray It Up in Syracuse, New York. I've been talking a lot about superfoods lately, like and different things like the kiwi, the pumpkin seeds, the chamomile tea, because I'm in a rut too. I think we're all in this rut where we eat the same old things and we're not experimenting and trying things. And now we're getting into the winter and there's winter squash and there's there's beets and greens. There's I've been eating Brussels sprouts every day and I heat them up in the microwave at work. Oh. And, and, then, and then I get there really early and one lady came in, she goes, she goes, Brussels sprouts, and then I, I, I was like this, she goes, I love Brussels sprouts. I'm like, oh, me too. You know, I wasn't going to fest to it until she said she liked it. And then, what about turnips? I can't tell you the last time I had a turnip. How about, anyone have a turnip last week? See what I'm talking about? Now, if I said, did anyone have pumpkin pie last week, everyone would raise their hand. All right, and then look at these great recipes I have here. Herb roasted root and other vegetables. And again, you can put what you want in these. Uh, similar, like you can have some Russell sprouts, some rutabaga, some, I love this, kohlrabis. I don't even know what that is. It sounds like something you get from a bag. You know, I have no idea. Yes, it's good. People are saying it's good. I never heard of it. Also, there's only 241 calories in a whole serving. Then this looks great to me. Cabbage and red apple slaw. Mm. It's got red cabbage, apple, carrot, just a little maple syrup, oh, cider vinegar, good. Dijon mustard, and sea salt. How mm. easy is that? All right, good. you guys and I are, are, are got to mix it up. Look at this one. Curried greens with chickpeas. But I feel like I said that wrong. I think it's curried greens and chickpeas. Because doesn't it sound like a southern recipe? Yeah. All right, so there's all these different things in it. And then there's savory raw kale salad. Ooh. And then I had to look these things up. I said one to two teaspoons of miso or Bragg liquid aminos. All that is is a different kind of uh, soy sauce. And I don't really like soy sauce because there's too much sodium oh, in it. Yes. So maybe I need to look at different kinds of soy sauce. Now, I also have a recipe in here for roasted butternut squash with baby spinach and cranberries. Mm -hmm. So oh, I decided oh, that, that we were going to make this recipe so we could give you a review on it before I handed it out. So we took it to the Thanksgiving dinner at my family's on Thursday, which as you all know, begins at noon, is over by 12.15. So, um, as it's, so there's this beautiful thing of butternut squash cut and cubed with baby spinach and cranberries. And the only people who had it were me and Bob. <laughs> Everyone else is like, what? Yeah, because it was different, and they didn't want to eat outside the box. So this is what we have to do, pray it up. And let me tell you something. It was fantastic. Delicious. And that little onion in it, great. Now, the final thing I want to show you before I play the song is we're always talking about the no-no's. The things that you can't have because it goes to your fat cells and makes them fatter. So the next time you look at a label in the store and you see these things, like I'm deathly allergic to aspartame, monosodium glutamate, mm -hmm. but there's also high fructose corn syrup. Then there's sulfites, disodium glutamate, di potassium sulfate, all these things Panera Bread doesn't put in any of their food, but it's also all these things that I'm telling you are in so many of the foods we eat that you say, I, it wasn't that high in calories, but those chemicals have nowhere to go but your fat cells. So really take a good look at that, and I'm going to stop right there, Bob. I love the next.